The Supreme Court has announced that Welsh and Scottish governments will be involved in the court battle over just how the Brexit process is triggered. The Supreme Court will be hearing an appeal by the UK government against the ruling that Parliament must be consulted over the process. Let's get some reaction now from Neil Hamilton, who leads the UKIP group in the National Assembly. Evening, Mr Hamilton. Hello, Peter. What do you make of this? Well, it's fair enough, I think, for the Welsh Government to be represented. They were represented in the High Court hearing, so it's right that uh, they'll be represented in the Supreme Court. But I asked Mick Antony, the Council General, last week in the Assembly if the Government was going to support the UK government's application uh, because as a result of the referendum the government has been mandated by the British people and the Welsh people by a majority to uh, trigger the process of leaving the EU. The only way you can do that is by uh, giving notice under Article 50, which is what this case is all about. Mm. Um, the thing is, you see, that uh, everyone we talked to uh, today, including Hugh Aranka Davis, was saying that there's no question Brexit does mean Brexit. The UK will leave. This court case is not about that. It's about the process of triggering Article 50. And in that sense, because the UK doesn't look very much like the UK of old, um, there needs to be a reflection of what Wales and Scotland think. Well, uh, the people uh, in the United Kingdom and the people in Wales voted by a majority to leave the EU. No ifs, no buts, no equivocation. Uh, the government wants to give effect to the decision of the people. Uh, so what is the point of another vote in the House of Commons? Mm. If only to frustrate that. And you hear Ranka Davis is a lovely man, but he's you know, a manic Remainer. Uh, and every single Labour MP, every Plaid Cymru MP, every Liberal MP voted to remain. And yet a majority of the British people voted yeah. to leave. But of course the Supreme Court is not identifying the politics. The Supreme Court is not making a political judgment. The Supreme Court is being asked uh, on a constitutional point. Yeah. And uh, as constitutionally part of the United Kingdom, both Wales and Scotland uh, have a right to input. Oh, yeah, I'm not opposed to that. I'm, I'm, mm. I, I think it's perfectly reasonable that uh, the Welsh and Scottish governments uh, and indeed Northern Ireland government uh, should be represented in this hearing. Um, there wa uh, the, uh, the Welsh government was represented in the High Court, although mm. the, the council f for them didn't say anything. Uh, so one wonders what was the point of his being there. But uh, no, I, I, but the Supreme... We've never been in this situation before because we've never had a referendum on an issue of this kind. The High Court may have felt itself bound by constitutional precedent to come to the conclusion it did. The, yeah. the Supreme Court is not bound by previous decisions. It can change its own previous decisions in different circumstances. And I think uh, this is a unique situation. Uh, we've had a national referendum to decide this issue, uh, and uh, the Supreme Court should give effect to the decision of the British people. Can you really see the Supreme Court overturning a decision made by a bench of judges, including the Lord Chief Justice, who was able to call on 250 years of constitutional law to support it? Well, uh, the plain fact of the matter is that, this is that the Supreme Court uh, is superior to the High Court and the Lord Chief Justice, the Master of the Rolls and another Lord Justice of, uh, Justice of Appeal sat in the High Court as High Court judges. The Supreme Court uh, is, this, is, as it says, the Supreme Court and they can and frequently do come to a different decision from lower courts. Um, and it's also... I wouldn't say irrelevant to the final outcome of uh, Article 50, but, I mean, it's been accepted in the Commons uh, that, you know, even if there was a vote, uh, there would not be uh, an attempt to overturn the will of the British people. So you have nothing to fear, Mr Hamilton. Well, in that case, what's the point of this process? If, if the House of Commons is already going to vote to trigger Article 50, uh, then why are we going through all this uh, legalistic mumbo-jumbo? Uh, you know, the, the, the process of negotiation with the EU about whatever trade deal might be on, on the table can't even begin until we trigger Article 50. And what uh, here Anka Davis and the Welsh Government, indeed, uh, are arguing is we can't even begin this process until Parliament decides whether to do so. Well, why, why are we, we going through this charade if they've already said we'll let it happen. Neil Hamilton, thanks for joining us. That's Neil Hamilton, AM leader of UKIP in the Assembly.